Hi friends, I know that some of you are getting ready to do some how-to writing in your classrooms, so I wanted to share a fun how-to book today. The author is Nyla Magruder, and the title is How to Find a Fox. And this is one of my daughter's favorite bedtime stories. Let's take a look at the title page. How to Find a Fox. And if you take a look at this title page, it's going to give you a little bit of a clue about how the narrator is going to be feeling as the story goes on. How to find a fox. Find a foxhole. Any foxhole will do. The best foxes are home when you visit. Take out your fox bait, place it somewhere easy to spot, hide, then wait very quietly. Wait a little longer. Hmm, what do you notice happening to her eyelids here in this illustration? Maybe you should try a different approach. <gasps> Uh-oh. So in this book, it's really important to pay close attention to the pictures because they're going to give you some clues about what's happening in the story. Tread slowly over the ground. Foxes have keen hearing. That means they can hear really well. You don't want to startle them. Be sure to look for fox tracks. They're like dog tracks, but sneakier. Hmm, can you see what's happening there in that tree? Take a picture of a family of raccoons. They have bushy tails, kind of like foxes. Put out more bait. Wait longer this time. Hmm. Oh no, you waited too long. Lying around won't bring foxes to you. Keep looking. Search by, the, oh, sorry, stalk through the grass. Make fox calls. Search by the stream. Make more fox calls. Oops. Roll down a hill. It won't help you find a fox, but it's fun. Maybe you need a change of perspective. Climb a tree. Slowly, carefully. There he is. It's hard to see what so there she is at the top of the tree and she spots the fox all the way down the bottom. Hmm. I wonder what she's gonna do. Climb down from the tree. <gasps> He's getting away. Run, run! You've gotta be quick. Don't lose him. Oh, you lost him. And can you see where he disappeared to? Let's make sure you can see that in the illustration. Kick a rock. No, wait, not that one. Kick a smaller rock. Lie down on your back because it's hopeless. Perhaps this was the wrong day to find foxes. Maybe you should just give up. You want to go home, but you're too tired. What do you do now? Take deep breaths. Close your eyes. Take a walk in your mind. Now's not the time to give up. What you're looking for is closer than you think. You've got a feeling that it's staring you right in the face. Hmm. Can you tell what this is a picture of or where she's looking? Hmm. 
some days a fox doesn't want to be found. Some days he wants to find you. Congratulations, you are a master at finding foxes. Look at all the photographs she took. That's the end of our story. I hope that you enjoyed it.